Hello and good morning, I'm Neil from Bath Cars and today's car is the Jaguar. This is the X-Type 2 litre diesel uh, with the timing chain so no cam belt to have to worry about with it. Uh, done 124,000 miles and has come in in part exchange. Landed with me last uh, week, I've driven it about and done about 60 miles in the car. It is taxed till the end of March next year and uh, it is the classic version. So it's the 2 litre diesel, 5 speed manual, uh, classic model. And uh, I must say, actually, its overall drive is very good. It's, uh, it's very lively. It pulls really, really well. Um, there's nothing to worry about in terms of any sensors or gas recirculation valves, any of that sort of uh, um, you know, malarkey going on with it. It drives absolutely spot on. It starts on the button. We've had some lovely cold days here in uh, Moncton Coombe over the last uh, few days with heavy frost, and it's fired up perfectly. It's got a good battery, and the brakes, transmission, gearbox engine are all without fault. A little bit of wear in the front uh, 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 transmission system. I won't say, won't say transmission, it's not the drive shafts, it's the uh, ball joints and that sort of thing. So uh, the mechanics of the suspension really. A little bit of wear but nothing of, of any immediate consequence. The front fogs work okay and it's a 54 plate 2005. Uh, there is a small crack to the front of the bonnet here so it's had some action at the front here at some point. Uh, there is a light scuff just to this here, which probably will polish out. Actually, in fact, uh, two thirds of that will polish off. There's the tax disc. It's only £93 for six months tax, valid until the end of March next year, so plenty of tax. And essentially, the roof, the glass, the flanks of the car, the rear of the vehicle, all nice and straight and tidy, with very little marks to worry about, and the bumpers are all nicely aligned up, as you can see. Let's run around the tyres here. So, we've got a Pirelli tyre on the front. And that's practically, it's a bit better than half worn actually. And the pads are fine in there, and discs on the front obviously. Colour coordinated wing mirrors, electric windows all round in the car. Yep, this one's a Bridgestone on the back, and he's better than half worn as well. Nice door cards, and the rear seats spot on with three inertia real safety belts. Uh, cut the headrests in there, and map pockets in the back of the seats. As well as very good condition carpets. There's no horrible odours or smells in there, it does smell perfect. There's a spare wheel in the back, an alloy spare wheel, and the boot space is in good order. I'll pop the bonnet so you can see that. Electronic boot release, and all tidy in the back there with the toolkit. So 54 plate, January 2005. Nice steel metallic grey colour. This one's a good year on the back, and he's about a bit better than half worn again and another Pirelli on the front, and he's about uh, a, bit, a bit better than half one. So the tyres have got no spends to make on the tyres. There is a small chip in the glass, which has been remarked upon on the last MRT, but isn't significantly enough to fail it. And it can be repaired quite easily as well, no problem with that. Okay, so a good looking Jag, straight and tidy, with just a little bit of uh, misalignment in the bonnet at the front, mainly on the right hand side here. It is minimal really. And this is a cheap one, so you're not paying top money for a perfective, perfection car. It is just a, you know, medium-priced, decent four-door saloon. But I've driven a fair few of these, and I can tell you this goes like the clappers. It really does pull absolutely spot on. So let's go and have a look at the documents and things that we've got for it. Okay, and welcome to the documents then for this uh, Jaguar. We've got a Jaguar uh, X-Type, 2-litre diesel showing four keepers in total. Last change of ownership was in 2011, April, and the one before that was in uh, September 2008. Car shows as a Jaguar, 2000, uh, sorry, registered 20th of January 2005. So it's a 54 plate 2005 car, uh, heavy oil, 152 grams per kilometer in the color gray. Uh, we've got a current MOT, which is valid until the 30th of March 2013 and was done at 119,000 miles and there was a few advisories when that was done Re near side rear wheel bearing slight noise offside outer edge of tires I think they've all been dealt with the tires rear pipe uh, pyrosine pipe has slight seepage and discs say they're worn and pitted but not seriously weakened and hydraulic reservoir fluid close to minimum level on the brake I should imagine that's been topped up but it does drive very well as you would have seen from my uh, uh, previous part of the video, um, there's MOTs going back 94k, 112, 
87, so there's a fair few previous MOTs. Um, this is a bill for £231 for a uh, air compressor, Re reconditioned air compressor pump. Sorry, I don't think it's reconditioned, it's brand new. £231, uh, and uh, that was dated uh, this time last year. And what else we've got here? Just a few bills and receipts. Uh, MOT for 50 quid. Um, and then we've got uh, basically all the previous old MOTs on the Avoza system. So, uh, warranting the miles. But there she is then, that's about all we've got. Just the one key, I'm afraid, as well. So, that's the history and the documents. Back to the car. Okay, just uh, point the camera in here so you can see again the roof lining, courtesy lights, etc. Flockets. The law interior, decent forgiving coloured cloth, so it's not like it's going to get filthy. The uh, electric windows are on the front, and it's got manual ones in the back. Yes, it's manual windows, sorry, so it's manual windows in the back, and electrics in the front with electric mirrors, electrically height adjustable driver's seat. The steering wheel isn't actually in bad condition at all, in pretty good order. The pedal rubbers are in good order as well, so is the carpet with a little protective over mat there. Let's just uh, jump in the car, where it's a bit warmer. We have got one key, which is remote locking, and the remote all works fine. Key all works nicely in the lock. She starts up on the button like so. So, ABS lights, airbag lights, all go out as they should. Front fogs, rear fogs. Now, the air conditioning compressor has been replaced recently. It's got the center armrest, cup holders, traction control. The clutch is perfect. Nice light pedal, bikes exactly where it should do. No problem with that whatsoever. It's got a CD, uh, CD system, radio. Not very Jaguar, is it? Where have we got? Uh, classic, there we go. Not tuned in. Anyway, so radio works fine, CD player. Now the air conditioning compressor has been replaced recently. That clicks in, you can hear the compressor basically fire up. Uh, as a, there you go, you can turn it off. But I heard the compressor click in, and that will also dehumidify the car as well in the winter, as well as keep the car nice and cool for the summer months. There we go then, so glove box. Unfortunately, no books or anything with this car, but uh, we have done an MOT check and it all adds up as you would have seen. But she's a nice car. It's a clean, comfortable place to be in this vehicle. And being a 2 litre diesel is the right motor for this car. With the timing chain, you've got to worry about that chain being replaced every 70,000 miles or so. Now I can just hear the compressor load up then for the aircon and the electric air conditioning fan kick in as well. Right, if you're interested in this car, do give me a call. My name's Neil. I'll be happy to help. Speak to you soon. Bye bye.